My name is Jordi Ho, and I'm from Pearl City, Hawaii. I am currently a tropical plant pathology PhD student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. My advisor is Dr. Michael Melzer of the Agrosecurity Lab in the Department of Plant and Environmental Protection Sciences. I study plant viruses in the family Ketaviridae. What I like best about ketoviruses are that they are unique. Ketoviruses cause non-systemic infections. They're vectored by mites and they can infect multiple hosts. Normally, when susceptible plants are infected with a plant virus, you can find those virus particles throughout the whole plant. Most ketoviruses cannot move throughout a plant and rely on plant feeding mite vectors to spread. This is interesting because ketoviruses actually have a hypothetical protein that should allow them to move throughout a plant, but they don't. Why is that? The main theory is that ketoviruses are actually mite infecting viruses that have not learned to overcome plant defenses yet. You can think of it like how animals carry coronaviruses, but are fine. Then it jumps to another host like humans, and maybe we get a pandemic. My research involves the ketovirus, hibiscus green spot virus 2. It was described in Hawaii from the endemic hibiscus kokio keo keo, or hibiscus arnautianus. It was also found infecting how and citrus. A previous member of our lab, Dr. Alejandro Olmedo Verlard, developed a clone of this virus. With this technology, I can deactivate genes in the virus and observe changes in the virus function, structure, and biology. I am currently working on inserting reporter genes into the clone to observe the movement proteins. From here, I can work towards why keto viruses have not yet overcome plant defenses. This also contributes to the theory on the origin of plant viruses. Emerging plant viruses, like the ketoviruses, are a threat to plants of cultural and economic importance. Ketoviruses that cause the disease citrus necrosis can severely impact agriculture. In Brazil, 9.5 million boxes of oranges worth $50 million were lost due to damage from citrus necrosis. Although hibiscus green spot virus 2 is not as virulent, it and other ketoviruses have the potential to become destructive. So, in addition to understanding the genetics of ketoviruses, I am working on improving mite identification tools, searching plants and mite sequencing data for novel ketoviruses, and looking for mite natural enemies in Hawaii. Through these efforts, I'm not only contributing to the understanding of the origin of plant viruses, but also proactively improving agro-security in Hawaii to protect its fragile agricultural and natural ecosystems. I'd like to thank the ARCS Foundation for supporting my research, and I'm so honored to be part of this year's Scholars.